why this estimate state is so useful for us. Uh, this is an application in financial mathematics. Uh, we see uh, the second equation first. Y t is equal to a function of st plus another function of st. Uh, mu, mu, uh, mu we kind of model as some kind of return. And this y t is not, we can assume it is, a, it is, it is a stock price. Stock price. The stock price is involved uh, along the time. So every different time, we will get a different uh, stock price. And this stock price is a function of ST. And here, NY, we, we use it as a, NY is a Gaussian distribution. We model the, the stock price involved, how involved it involved, uh, how involved against the time. Here, this ST, ST is the, is the true state we want to know. And this state, it is also involved uh, against the time of this equation. And this NS is also a Gaussian. So the, the thing about this, you will know the stock price every time. We want to estimate the underlying state, ST. Why we are so interested in this ST? It's like, we can calculate uh, some interesting results based on this, this ST. Uh, one example is, uh, uh, there is a derivative related to the stock. Uh, one example is auction. And uh, some uh, economics uh, has already derived uh, an equation. If we know the ST, the underlying state, and the stock price, and the stock price, and the, and the TM and the P strike is some input related to this option. So if we know this, these parameters, we can find out the option, the option price, the call option price, or maybe the put option price. This is the estimate, estimate call option price or put option price. Like that. Yeah, that's fine. Of the stock price. 
and the and high state is, di uh, is different uh, related to different uh, problem. So here, um, we, we didn't consider the specific meaning of each sample here. I just want to show you there is an underlying state there and there are some ob observation. We want to estimate the underlying state based on this observation. And if we know this, if we can estimate this underlying state, then we can find the estimate call option price. And then we can compare it with the, the needs, the, the, the option price in the market. Then we can we can do some decision based on this information. So that's and NY. NY and NS. This is just a Gaussian distribution, Gaussian process. Uh, actually, uh, this is a simplified, uh, like, like here, the stock price. Uh, the, the basic stock price model is the flex code. And uh, this is a Brownian process because the stock price, uh, just imagine how the stock price evolve, evolve because now a lot of people are buying and selling. So they kind of uh, model it as a Brownian process. Stay is really like really like a stay. The, the stock price, if you look at the line here, you have mu is basically the mean, right? Mu is kind of the return. Yeah, and the yeah, yeah. It's, but it's like I, I'm thinking like the mu. A mu mu s is a mu y is like like the mean right, of that stock. Right. I can think of like sigma is like the the variance of that right. stock where right, some some. And then you add a Gaussian noise as a dot. So there's some uncertainty there you don't know. Mm -hmm. And that uncertainty is, is specified by that variance of uh, Y there. And the signal Y is like itself is a kind of a function of your state variable. Yeah. So then in the sense that your state is like more than just say the volatility. Because yeah. like you only also like specify the price also like the yeah. price. Uh, yeah, and I, yeah, uh, but uh, I, I use my, my state to, you know, it's, uh, okay, so we, we uh, until now we know we have some observation. We want to estimate the underlying state. Now those, and is that multiplication or function? Function, it's function, actually the function. So, mu y is a function, function of, of ST? ST, yes, of yes. Again, with a simple example, um, uh, unlike the previous example, uh, we only assume the system has only one state. It's like the system here. This is the two state. Uh, the system has only one state, and we want to know this. 